When someone dials 911, they need help right away. Seconds count, and there are no second chances. Tonight, Channel 12's Jack Burns begins his special report, Lives on the Line. He's live in East Providence. Now, Jack, how effective is the 911 system here? Karen, it's one of the best in the entire nation. In fact, if you're walking down the street and you need help, you can call 911 from a payphone. All you have to do is pick it up and punch up 911, even if you don't have any change. And on top of that, even if you don't know where you are. Nine one one emergency police fire or medical. Seven one seven one. What is it? A fire. You're at seventy one Stanwood yeah. apartment five staying up. Our first priority is to verify the address, make sure you have the correct address, make sure the emergency is at that address. Is the fire in the location where you are? Yeah, in the hallway, a lot of smoke. I wonder where it's coming from. All right, can you get out? Get everybody out safely. I'm in fire. Hold on, we're here. Hurry up. 71 Stanwood, 71 Stanwood, apartment 5. There's a lot of smoke in the hallway. Okay, well, that's the one right over. Attention engines, 10, 11, 8, special hazards 1, lattice 5, 2, rescue 1, and chief 2. Response to 71, 71 Stanwood Street. Take still box 1327 Niagara and Stanwood for a reported house fire. I can't get out. You can't get out, sir? All right, you're in the more apartment five? Still a floor. All right, you by yourself, sir? He was telling me exactly what was going on. I try to talk to him. Sometimes you talk to the people, they get their mind off of what's going on. I mean, they're, you know, responding, you know, to your questions. It helps them stay calm. We're qualified apartment, sir, to tell them that you're trapped in the third floor. You're on the third floor, is that correct? All right. Hi, this is 911 calling. You know that fire at 71 Stanwood? We have a gentleman who can't get out of his apartment. When did you know there was a, a man trapped? We knew there was a man trapped when we arrived on the scene. We saw him hanging out of the third floor window. When you climb the ladder and get up to him, what do you say to him? Well, you're trying to calm him down, get up to him as quickly as possible, and get him out, on, out of the building and onto the ladder, and then make sure that he's OK in a stable position, and then bring him down. He says no one on the third, but you might want to get up there. Joey, I'm going right up to check, OK? Good communication is very, very important. It's critical. Everyone needs the same information. I don't think there's an acceptable margin of error in this case. You want to do the job. You want to do it right. No time for mistakes. You can't even put a price tag on this system. The system is great. We know exactly where you are. If a child calls, doesn't know where they're located, we know exactly where you are. You couldn't put a price tag on this system. As you can see, those firefighters and rescue workers have no time to waste in responding to those calls because lives really are on the line. Karen? You know, Jack, we really don't think about what a job those people do, the 911 people, firefighters, and so on forth. Now, Rhode Island has a statewide 911 network, but what if you live in Massachusetts? Well, in Massachusetts, I was talking to some fire chiefs in Seekonk and Rehoboth, especially in southeastern Mass. They're about a year and a half to two years away from getting a system like ours. In the meantime, they suggest that people remember their local fire and police department numbers, write them down, and remember them. Keep them handy. Yes. And what's coming up tomorrow night, Jack? Tomorrow night, Karen, in part two, it'll be uh, more behind-the-scenes action as more rescue people respond to emergency calls on 911. All right. Jack Burns reporting live for us tonight from East Providence. Walter.